Hello, I'm Mark Jones, Director of Technical Marketing here at Emulex Corporation. Uh, today we're going to show you the new LPE 16000 Fiber Channel HBA. Uh, we're going to look at some of the, the new performance benefits that this HBA offers and uh, some of the benefits even in 8 and 4 gig SAN environments that you might have. We're going to run a series of performance tests comparing 8 gig Fiber Channel HBAs to our new 16 gig Fiber Channel HBA. This basic configuration has all the same components except the HBAs are different and running at different link rates. So you can see the HBA is going to communicate to a 16 gig switch which on the back end has uh, high speed RAM SAN type uh, storage devices. The first test is going to be the max IOPS test. So this is a simple test using 512 byte reads or writes uh, run sequentially uh, to 20 LUNs uh, using 40 outstanding IOs. So we're going to first set up the 8 gig HBA server uh, and start the test. You can see that the 8 gig HBA is capable of about 200,000 IOPS, just a little bit less. Now we'll set up uh, the other server with the 16 gigabit HBA and configure it the same way. Uh, one difference is we're going to use uh, write I.O. instead of read I.O. Uh, we get a little bit higher IOPS from write I.O. on this card. And you can see that the max IOPS for the LPE 16,000 is over a million. So significantly higher than uh, our previous card uh, using 8 gig HBAs. The next test will be the max throughput test. Uh, we'll measure this in megabytes per second. Uh, this test will configure uh, for large data blocks of one megabytes in size and it will perform a sequential read to all the LUNs we got. So there are 20 of them. They're Texas memory RAM SANS, so very fast. Uh, and then this, will the measurement will be uh, used in megabytes per second. So this is a screen showing the 8 gig HBA's maximum megabytes per second. And you can see it's under 800 megabytes per second, which is uh, correct for the link rate, which is 8 gig fiber channel. Now we'll set up the other server with a 16 gig HBA in it. Same test. Uh, everything's the same. As I said, the hardware is the same between the two. And in here we're looking at uh, under 1600 megabytes per second, so roughly double uh, that of 8 gig fiber channel, which uh, is no surprise. I think that's what's expected. So uh, double the throughput for 16 gig fiber channel. The next test will look at the I average I.O. response time. We call this the I.O. response test and it's a good indicator of how fast uh, every I.O. transaction uh, will return uh, and a good comparison between the two. Uh, in this test it's really simple. We set it up, set it up to do a simple single 512 byte read, sequential read, uh, one outstanding I.O. to just one LUN and will measure the average I.O. response uh, for that operation. And we'll set that up identically on the other server with the 16 gig HBA. Okay, so you can see here that the average I.O. response time on the 16 gig HBA is roughly half that of that of the 8 gig HBA. Now we can actually run the 16 gig HBA at an 8 gig link rate and the faster processor on the LPE 16000 will still give us the same half response time uh, that we saw over the previous generation card. Okay, the next test is a database like transaction test where we'll run uh, a 4K I.O. Uh, 70% of the IOs will be read and 30% will be write. So that's roughly similar to what something like Oracle or SQL Server would do. 
Uh, in fact, uh, the newer versions of SQL Server even run uh, AK block sizes. So um, we'll set that up and we'll look at the maximum uh, IOPS that the 8 gig HVA is capable of. You can see it's just over 100,000. Um, of course, this is at 4K block sizes, which in general is, is very difficult for HBAs to perform because they're not quite at line rate yet. It usually takes larger data blocks to get to line rate. But it's a good indicator of how fast a processor is inside an HBA, uh, of how close it can get to line rate at this block size. And it's a very practical uh, performance indicator because this is something that is really used in the data center. So you can see the comparison here between uh, the 8 gig and the new LPE 16,000 is huge. The, the LPE 16,000 is capable of about 530,000 IOPS. So it's a good indicator of how uh, well the 8 core uh, HBA can perform. So as you can see, the LPE 16,000 HBA offers significantly higher performance, higher maximum IOPS, higher bandwidth and throughput in 4 and 8K block size environments, and much lower latency even in 4 and 8 gigabit fiber channel SANs.